Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I was shooting with Vivian and for this photo shoot, we decided to do a lot of close-up portraits because in my previous videos and in my previous photo shoots, I've done a lot of full body shots and I also got a good tip from you guys that when I'm photo shooting is that I shouldn't always shoot on 1.8 because in my recent photo shoots with the Sony A6000 and the 85mm 1.8, I realized like a lot of my images were out of focus or the focus was on the nose or on the hair. So today I wanted to do it a bit different. And in this photo shoot with Vivian, we decided to do a lot of closer portraits and also lower a bit the aperture to around 3.0 to 4.0 to get that maximum sharpness. And I have to say with Vivian, it was very cool to photo shoot. She's very confident and also she is very good with her facial expressions. So again, props to her. And when we start this photo shoot, I was a bit worried because we had like on the weather forecast, a lot of rain, you know, for the next hours, but we were still very lucky that it didn't rain. So my advice for you is when you just start shooting is just to make sure that if you can shoot somewhere, where there are some like shelter areas where you can go under because when it rains for example and you're in the middle of the photo shoot and you have no place where you can go for plan b this can really end your photo shoot so just bear that in mind and we started doing some very simple portraits in this alley and i got also a tip here for you guys and what i recommend when you're photo shooting on your next photo shoot is that Make sure you also have a closer look on the hands because with hands it's very important that you make sure that you also see the palms of the hands because if you see the back of the palms it's kind of introverted and on photo shoots it's always good if you have like also your hands in position so the viewer can see them and also see the palm because it's then also more inviting. We also have another advice for use and that is that for example what I like to do when I'm photo shooting and when I do close up portraits is also that you get a bit closer to the model and then you ask the model if she can like put her hair behind her ears because then the cheekbones look longer. And another thing I realized with this pose is that you also have then a better focus on the eyes because sometimes when I photo shoot with my A6000, I notice that the focus is on the hair or on the nose so this helps you to nail the focus better and it also looks a bit more flattering when you see like the whole face and sometimes hair can also be distracting so this is my secret tip for you and after that location we wanted to you know just mix it up but uh, we didn't see like a way out of this area so we just stayed there and we saw like these apartments and what we noticed here was that there were also some trees and they reminded me a bit of Christmas. So it was funny because also Vivian had an outfit with her, which was red. And what we tried to do here was to mix both colors together, red and green, because they're also complementary. And also we wanted to, you know, also have like the branches of the Christmas tree also in the picture. So I asked Vivian if she can like lean against one of these trees. And for a final location, we decided to go to this car park. And a couple of weeks ago, I was shooting here with Sandra. But unfortunately, when we shot here was that it was raining a lot. And yeah, we actually had the same problem today as well. It started to rain, but this time I had my plastic bag with me. So uh, this time I was also able then to shoot in the rain with the A6000. And my biggest tip for you is to when you shoot for example in April or when it's autumn, just prepare for like rain. And the best way you can prepare is for example when you bring a plastic bag or you can bring an umbrella. This really helps because my Sony A6000 isn't waterproof and also the 85mm 1.8 can be damaged very quickly. So just make sure when you photo shoot is that you bring accessories with you which can help you on your photo shoot you know to go through it. This is uh, something I do every time. And after a while we realized there was like a woman coming up to us and she asked us what are we guys doing here and it was pretty funny because we were like thinking that she says to us can you get off this car park but we were very friendly to her and she actually then offered us to 
you know, stay here. And she opened up this garage. And in this garage, there was this big light bulb at the top. And because we were shooting in the garage also, we hadn't had any rain. And this was also very nice because it started to rain a bit more. And we did our final portraits here and I'm very happy with the results. You can also check out Michelle's photo shoot behind the scenes with the Sigma 30mm 1.4 at the top right. And thank you so much again for watching. Take care of yourself and see you next time. Bye.